Hello and welcome back. This is Sherry with Full Armor of God. And today I have a message for you from the Lord that has three scriptures to go along with it. The first is Matthew chapter 23, verse 12 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall humble himself shall be exalted. The second scripture is Mark chapter 12, verses 41 through 44 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, And Jesus sat over against the treasury and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury and how many that were rich cast in much. And there came a certain poor widow and she threw in two mites which make a farthing. And he called unto him his disciples, and saith unto them, Verily I say unto you, that this poor widow hath cast more in that all they which have cast into the treasury, for all they did cast in of their abundance, but she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. The, fir the third scripture is Mark chapter 12, verses, excuse me, it's Luke ch chapter 6, verses 20 through 38 in the King James Version Bible. It reads, And he lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed be ye poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are ye that hunger now, for ye shall be filled. Blessed are ye that weep now, for ye shall laugh. Blessed are ye when men shall hate you, and when they shall separate you from their company, and shall reproach you, and cast out your name as evil for the Son of Man's sake. Rejoice ye in that day, and leap for joy, for behold, your reward is great in heaven, for in the like manner did their fathers unto the prophets. But woe unto you that are rich, for ye have received your consolation. Woe unto you that are full, for ye shall hunger. Woe unto you that laugh now. For ye shall mourn and weep. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. But I say unto you which hear, love your enemies, do good to them which hate you, bless them that curse you, and pray for them which despitefully use you. And unto him that smiteth thee on the one cheek, Offer also the other, and him that taketh away thy cloak, forbid not to take thy coat also. Give to every man that asketh of thee, and of him that taketh away thy goods, ask them not again. And as ye would that men should do to you, do ye also to them likewise. For if ye love them which love you, what thank have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. And if ye do good to them which do good to you, what thank have ye? For sin sinners also do even the same. And if ye lend to them of whom ye hope to receive, what thank ye have ye? For sinners also lend to sinners to receive as much again. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again, and your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest. For he is kind unto the unthankful, and to the evil. Be ye therefore merciful, as your Father also is merciful. Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. 
Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down and shaken together, and running over shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that ye meet withal, it shall be measured to you again. Now for the message received from the Lord God on February the 8th, 2022. Pride come, pride cometh before the fall, and yet through it all still profess to address me as your Lord. All your will is done, yet I am the one never even given consideration. I must say, you are no God. You do not, not in all capital letters, know what's the best or pleasing unto me, your Heavenly Father. And yet, I do see many things that are displeasing to my eyes. All of the lies and betrayal committed are shamefully hidden under the guise of, of, of being above the fray. Above is in all capital letters. You are no better than your neighbor across the street with whom you smile and wave whilst behind their back you rave about your treasures and your qualities better than his. Your conceit leaves a stench in my nostrils. The wealth you have incurred is not of your own hand, only by which I have allowed up until now. If your haughtiness does not, not in all capital letters, cease, I will decrease your wealth in half exclamation point you are no better than any other man whom i have created the only sinless and blameless one is my son and he would never never in all capital letters treat a so-called friend in that manner exclamation point these jealousies and yearning for more and more are excessive there is no need for the greed you have inside of your heart. It is never enough. Never is in all capital letters, exclamation point. You think you have it rough, while many don't even have enough food to eat or a place to sleep, exclamation point. Do I see you weep for them? No, no mercy for only envy and blame for the subsidies pertaining to social service entities now you can't buy that new suv or you can't remodel your kitchen or you can't go away on vacation you blame the poor but is it the poor's fault i say not you must live within your means, exclamation point. Once I see you give to the needy, then maybe I will trust you will I will trust you with more provision. You must help those who need it and care about who is suffering, really suffering, exclamation point. This is righteousness in the eyes of the Lord. Change your ways, my beloved, for the for very soon I will exalt the humble and humble you with undying love, God the Father and Jesus of Nazareth. So, this is a message for people who are greedy and don't help out others who are needy or the poor. And they even blame them for why they can't have more money. And they also talk behind their neighbor's back about how much better they are. 
and about all of their treasures that they have and they don't give to charities and he says if your haughtiness does not cease I will decrease your wealth in half so I believe that we're in the time of the wealth transfer the transfer of wealth because he's the Lord your God is getting ready to exalt the humble and humble the exalted so if you don't change your ways and you don't give unto others as you would have give given unto yourself or do unto those as you have, would have done to yourself the golden rule then I believe you're going to be humbled and you're going to be brought low and I'm hoping that this is only for a few of those people that have wealth right now I'm hoping that if you do have wealth that you do give to charities that you care about that are important to you because this is what is important to the Lord your God that you help your neighbors and uh, some of you may have been brought up this way to believe that you're better than other people but you are not and God's getting ready to show you he's going to get ready to humble you and show you how you are just like everyone else and that he wants you to change your ways and help those in need so this is the message for today I hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and definitely share it to all of your social media platforms if you feel that this message is speaking to you some way you can leave a comment down in the comment section if you have any questions and or prayer request you can send them to my email address which is listed down below in the description box if you enjoy the content on the channel please consider subscribing to the channel i do pray for all of my subscribers and viewers daily for jesus's blood protection over your life from any harm from the enemy and i believe that his message is to those who are the greedy ones who have the money and that it's never enough and I'm not placing blame on anyone here sometimes this is just the way of people's upbringings that they're brought up to believe that the more you have the more prestigious you are but in God's eyes you're not any better than anyone else and that you need to help those who are in need so this is the message for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and may God bless you.